Okay, it's time for the taco bowl recipe. I know you all know I make this a lot. I know you know it's easy, but so many have asked me about the homemade taco seasoning uh, recipe instead of having to use the commercially packaged one. So, welcome to my kitchen. We're going to do from start to finish the taco bowl because I wanna do it without any cuts or edits because I wanna show you, and anybody who actually hasn't made this yet, how really, really quick and easy this is. So um, I'm just going to gather my ingredients and we'll get started. One thing I wanna add before I really get started is at the end of this short video, I'm going to show you some really delicious, quick, easy versions of this. And I'm going to explain how uh, you can make a different version like a Greek version. And I have um, some Primal Palette uh, seasonings that I love. And you can see this one is called Super Hero. I guess that's the way you pronounce it. A lot of people call them gyro, but um, this seasoning with the ground beef and throwing in feta cheese is spectacular. Um, then there's another uh, seasoning they have called French onion seasoning mix. And this really is just uh, the dehydrated onion, Himalayan pink salt, garlic, chives, and parsley, all organic. So I'll show you that one. And um, there's a garden ranch and a garlic and herb. So with the garlic and herb, you can do a really, really delicious version where you put brie in with the ground beef and use the garlic herb. I mean, the sky's the limit on this, but um, if you have some really good quality uh, seasonings and the right cheese you wanna pair it with, you'll see, this is gonna be a game changer because it's so quick and simple, nutritious, delicious, and really inexpensive. Okay, so here it is, my homemade uh, taco seasoning recipe, which I think you'll find really delicious. So let me get this pointed down. And the first thing you're gonna do is just some chili seasoning. And there's gonna be four tablespoons of chili powder. And then two tablespoons of cumin. There we go. And this happens to be a two tablespoon measure that I have here. So it makes it kind of easy. Okay, and then you're gonna do one tablespoon of paprika. Doesn't really matter, I have this Hungarian paprika. You can get hot paprika if you like yours a little bit spicier. Uh, one, I like to use Redmond Real Salt, which I know a lot of people in this carnivore community use, but um, it's one teaspoon. Nope, one tablespoon. So there's three teaspoons of the salt. And now we're down to the garlic powder, which is a teaspoon of the garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of oregano, and one teaspoon of black pepper. And that's really it. You're just gonna mix this up. And I like to just pour it into, um, I, I keep like a empty spice container and just 
Take a Sharpie and mark it taco and keep remaking the taco seasoning as needed. Now, if you don't wanna go through the trouble of buying all these seasonings if you don't have it, or just going through the trouble of measuring it out and doing this, um, a great alternative is um, Primal Palette makes an organic, pure spice taco seasoning mix. And this, this one's really good. So there's an alternative if you don't really feel like going to the trouble and um, prepping this up yourself. So I forgot to mention that I will put a link uh, down below in the description for the Primal Palette spices that I really like. Um, I'm going to demonstrate now the ranch um, dry spice recipe that I make that I love. And um, just so that you know, Primal Palette also makes a um, organic dried version of that too. So if you're not one to want to mix up all these spices and put it in a separate jar and keep it and you want a pure organic uh, spice mixture that doesn't have all those extraneous ingredients that all the commercially prepared ones have, then um, just uh, go to that link uh, down below and you'll be amazed at how many really great uh, spice versions they have there. So like I just mentioned, I'm going to now demonstrate the uh, dry powder ranch dressing. I love to put this in my, let's call it my meatball instead of my taco bowl at this point because sometimes I'm just in the mood for maybe a different flavor than the taco. And I love to use this ranch version and then just put in a different type of cheese. You can still put in the shredded sharp cheddar, but sometimes with the ranch, I like to use um, mozzarella or Colby Jack, or maybe um, a little bit of a more um, milder cheese than the sharp cheddar. So um, I'm going to uh, explain with the ranch dressing, uh, I put in it this, if you can see it's a heavy cream powder and I get this, I have a link to that also below, um, makes it really easy and um, the reason for this is just that I add it into this ranch dry dressing mix and then I can just put it right into my ground beef. Uh, and of course you can just eliminate this ingredient, do all the others, and then just add a little heavy cream as you're making it. Um, but I find that this is really quick, easy, convenient, and it kind of gives it that um, true ranch uh, powder dressing. and. You can also use this same mixture that we're going to make right now and mix it with some uh, sour cream and use it as a dip for chicken wings or shrimp or, I mean, the sky's the limit, but this is a really, really great um, basic spice mixture that I just love to have on hand. I mean, even putting it on scallops um, is, is really, really good. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just mix this up. I know my head's chopped off a little, but I wanted to aim it down and excuse my video skills because I'm an eye doctor and social media and video editing is really not my forte and I am kind of getting used to this. I don't really have all the fancy equipment, but heck, I get the point done, right? Um, so we're gonna get started now. This is that heavy um, cream powder, which like I said, the link is down below. And this is six tablespoons. So this is my two tablespoon measure. And we've got six tablespoons of the heavy cream powder. And then the next thing that's going in is the chives. And the chives are uh, two tablespoons. So we have our two tablespoon measure here again, works really well. And then two tablespoons of um, parsley. So in goes the parsley. And now we are up to the dill. Dill is a key ingredient in ranch dressings and 
really gives it a great flavor. So that's two tablespoons of the dill. And then we're going over to garlic powder and that just gets one tablespoon. So I'll do the three teaspoon of that. And then onion powder, same thing, one tablespoon of onion powder. So we'll give that three teaspoons to get the tablespoon and one teaspoon of the salt. So now we've got a teaspoon of the salt and then the pepper. You can uh, fresh grind in uh, black pepper, that's fine. I tend to be lazy when I cook a little bit, even though, yeah, I'm going to the trouble of making this, but I really love um, the fresh seasonings and I, I really like making them myself so I don't have any of those anti-caking ingredients and all that other stuff. So the pepper is one and a half teaspoons of um, black pepper. And there you have it. Nothing else other than mixing it up. And um, like I said, I keep some empty spice containers and now I have one that's labeled ranch. Uh, if this is now making more than your container, I just stick it in a Ziploc bag, write ranch on it. And then as my container empties, I just refill it. And it's just quick and simple and easy. And I will uh, talk about the other recipes that you can use this with um, in other videos. So make it, enjoy it, and wait till you taste it in the ground beef. It's really, really good. You're gonna love it. All right, here we go, guys. Start to finish on the taco bowl. And as I do this, I will talk about some other alternatives that I do. Um, and I have about a pound of ground beef here. Now, you can do this to your liking or your family's liking as far as ground beef. Most people are so used to um, making their ground beef well done for their tacos. Um, I tend to start thinking about it as a burger or steak, and the way that I like my burgers is rare to medium rare, same for my steaks. So I don't overcook this. I don't pulverize it into little tiny pieces. I just tend to keep it as large chunks. Um, one of the other things that I'll bring up that I do when I sometimes make this is if I have a package of either ground uh, sausage or ground pork or ground veal or bison or any other kind of meats, you can throw that in here with this. You can throw in bacon bits um, if you wanna add a little bit of a bacon flavor, which tastes great when you do it with the ranch version. So when I make my ranch bowl, um, I do make it a little bit different, uh, but in general, um, I'd say just for ease and what I have on hand, it's I'm just throwing in the ground beef in here. But I like to bring up uh, the topic of uh, throwing in the sausage because that tastes actually really good. If you have um, a package of ground sausage, I'll put that in first, cook that to pretty much well done, then add my ground beef. So the beef is still rare and right now is when I'm going to add my taco seasoning, which I have my homemade seasoning here and I do um, two tablespoons to the pound of ground beef and just sprinkle that on. Mix that in and again, my meat is still pretty rare at this point. And I will then now go ahead and add my cheese. Now, I don't necessarily always add cheese. I usually do. Sometimes when I go off cheese and dairy for a little while, I keep it out. Um, and you can vary it to the amount that you like, but um, it's usually about a, a cup of cheese to the pound of um, ground beef. 
Now I happen to have a little bit of a package of mozzarella left. Uh, I had about a quarter cup of that. So I finished that up and the rest of it is the um, sharp cheddar. And we'll just heat that through. And again, I still have some medium rare uh, chunks of meat in here. And you can see the way it looks now is still bits of bread. The taco seasoning's mixed in and the cheese has pretty much melted. So it's at this point, I stick it in the bowl. So the variations I wanted to tell you about, so let's just get this shut off and right into the bowl. I usually do pour the, the fat right over it too. So there's my taco bowl. I will then take my sour cream, um, dollop it on the side and um, enjoy. I usually do eat the full pound. It might be my only meal for the day. It might be my main meal for the day and I might have something um, smaller, uh, maybe four or six hours later. Um, when you do different versions, I will tell you, I mentioned them earlier, but um, I love feta cheese. So if you are a feta cheese fan, you're gonna love this version. Basically, you're doing the same thing, start the ground beef, and then this primal palette makes this um, super, called super gyro, super hero. Um, spice mix and I'll put that in. Um, there's, um, you can do um, Italian seasoning and put a little more sausage in. Um, like I said, I love this uh, garlic and herb um, with brie. Uh, so just have fun with it. Just play with the cheeses you love, the spices you love, and you can change it up. People ask me, don't you get bored of eating only meat? Well, I, I really don't. Uh, number one, I really don't think I'll ever get sick and tired of ribeye New York strip. Um, and then I mix that up with ground beef or veal or sausage, sometimes chicken wings and scallops and shrimp. But I don't get bored. There's, I mean, even just in this meatball um, recipe, I, I could really eat this taco bowl over and over, and, and, I, and I do, probably three or four times a week. Um, and then mix it in with the with the with the gyro one, with uh, you can do a, a French onion one with Gruyere cheese or Havarti. Um, the sky's the limit, guys. Just have fun with it, and um, just the the best part about it, it's really inexpensive because you're using ground beef, and it's so quick and easy. You saw how fast I, I made that recipe. So have fun with it. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, recipe and if you do leave me a comment tell me the combination you did give me an idea um, I'd love to hear about it um, if you like this recipe and you want some more going forward because I have a lot coming up um, just click the subscribe button and hit that little bell you get a notification every time a new one goes up